In the past, if you wanted to create columns or add any page formatting inside of a synced block, you needed to use some pretty crazy workarounds to make it happen. But now it's really simple thanks to an update Notion rolled out a few months ago. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. If we haven't met, I'm Tasia Lake Fantasia, and this is another Notion quick tip for you. But before we dive in, I'd love it if you take a second to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you always stay up to date with all of my new Notion quick tip videos. One of the things I get asked about a lot in my Notion workspace, especially in my templates, is how I'm able to create this beautifully formatted synced block. If I click on the synced block, you can see all of the different elements that I have down in here with different column sizings, call out blocks, and different little formatting tweaks. So I wanna show you how I did this. It used to be that you weren't able to add these different formatting options naturally within a synced block, but now thanks to the Notion column shortcut, we can actually add columns directly within a synced block now, and it makes it a lot easier to quickly and easily format synced blocks in a similar way to how I have this one set up. So let's go ahead and do that together. First, we want to create our synced block. So we'll go ahead and add that synced block, and now all we need to do is just start editing inside of it. But let's say I want to start with a quote, kind of like how I had mine set up. So we have our quote block and all I did was hit enter, but let's say I want to add a little bit of space there. Let's say I want to add some columns in here. Quick and easy way to make that update is just hit that slash C-O-L and now we can add multiple column sizes in here. Let's say we want four columns. So you can see we're able to quickly and easily create four different columns. And from here you can actually drag these around and now that we have columns set up we can actually drag columns in and out and add it back in here but you'll notice if you try to do that with blocks that you create next to each other it doesn't let you do it within the synced block so if you want to format you need to go ahead and use that column slash command to get those columns created and then you can drag and drop your blocks under those columns. And if you need to, just delete the top blank block. So it's a nice way to very quickly and easily format your synced blocks in many different ways. Again, the way that I use it most frequently is I use a synced block to create my signature for any template that I share. And that's where I'm able to use a few different formatting options in here with like individual dividers, this quote section. So it's like my little love letter to anyone who downloads a template from me. And then these different call out blocks with links to my different online stores, places to connect with me online. And of course, sharing the links for my new Notion community, Notion for Creatives. This is actually a crowdsourced Notion resource website and Discord community that I created as a place for people in the creative arts to connect over a love of Notion and to learn more about Notion and how they can use it for their creative practice or business, and also to discover new templates that are specifically for the creative arts. So that includes music, art, dance, performance, theater, writing, photography, filmmaking, design, and any other miscellaneous creative endeavors you can think of. There are so many great Notion templates out there, but a lot of them are really focused on individual productivity or like business systems. And I really wanted to create a collection of Notion resources that are specifically for the creative arts. That's where this cr community idea started. We're still a very small Discord server, but I'd love to have all of you join us. Feel free to say hi, friend me in Discord. I would love to chat with you about how you use Notion, what your favorite use case is for Notion and your creative practice. And I want to know if you have Notion resources to share with us. I would love to see more submissions to our database. As an added bonus, if you submit your resource to our site and it gets approved, I will actually go in and create a promo tweet for your Notion resource on Twitter. And I have those scheduled to where they randomly select a different resource and promote 
two different resources every single day. If you have any amazing resources, Notion templates or Notion cover images or specialty icons, like definitely submit to our site and I'll make sure to get you mentioned on our Twitter account. And hopefully I see you guys in that Discord server soon. That would be amazing. Okay, enough about Notion for creatives. This is a Notion quick tip video. I hope you all really enjoyed this Notion quick tip today and didn't mind me going down the rabbit hole a little bit talking about the Notion for Creatives resource site and community because it's something I'm really excited about growing and sharing more with all of you. Make sure to head on over to the Notion for Creatives resource site and join our Discord server and I will see you guys in the next Notion quick tip video. As always, friends, stay creative.